To get started, you'll need to pick your yarn and you'll need about 200 yards of yarn. So I'm going with this Red Heart with Love in Bluebell. Size 8 needles. I'm using circular, but this is knitted flat, so you could use straight needles. And it has a small amount of stitches, so you can also do double pointed needles, whatever your preference is. But a size 8 or size to obtain your gauge, which is listed in the description box below with full written instructions. And then you'll also be needing a removable stitch marker or a marking thread of contrasting color because we'll be using this to mark the center of our hat when we're finished. So you either need it removable or a piece of thread. So you want to start off by choosing whatever cast on you prefer and cast on 23 stitches. This pattern is reversible so there is no right or wrong side, you just choose which one you prefer. For row 1, you want to start off by knitting 3. Then you're going to begin a repeat of purl 1, knit 3. And you want to repeat that all the way across this row. Purl one, knit three. For row two, you want to start off with a knit one. Then a repeat of purl one. knit 3 and you're just going to repeat that until the last two stitches When you're down to the last two stitches, you're going to purl one and knit one. Then you're just going to repeat those two rows to form our seated rib pattern, which the hat is out of, until your work measures 41 inches. So after I've done a couple inches, I'll come back and show you the pattern. But you just want to repeat those two rows for 41 inches. So there's a couple inches of the pattern. Pretty neat, I think. So now I'm just going to continue that until I reach my length. So once you have your 41 inches of your work, you're just going to bind off in pattern, fold your work in half, and put a marker in the center of the fold. This will be um, a note where we'll match up our seams. So when you bind off, you can leave somewhat of a tail, so we'll use this to start off when we sew. So now it's time to fold our hat. So you want to make sure you have your center notch, and you're going to take, with your hat the way it's facing you, you're going to take your left side and cross it this way. Take your right side and cross it over your left. So now you've made an X with your pieces. Then you're going to take the top of your flaps or the top of the X and fold it down, matching the center with our marker. So you want to line them up right next to your marker. And we're going to sew them along this back part of our hat. So you're going to, you can, if you have like clips or something, you can pin it here to hold it in place. 
So you're just going to sew this flap right here and then go to this side and do the same thing and just sew it here. And you just want to line it up. You don't want to like really tug on your work. Just kind of leave it where it's at and just tack it. So you can decide what type of sewing you like best. I think I'm just going to pick up a side from either and just go along. To recap how to fold it, you want your center back and you're going to take your pieces left side under and you're going to cross them to form an X pattern. Then you're going to take the top flaps and line them up next to your stitch marker and tack them along this back side. Once you have this back seam sewed up on both sides, you can remove the center one, the center marking, and now we're going to sew this middle piece. So you can kind of pull your hat a little flat. So just right here, it's probably like a six inch gap, we're just going to sew that together right where they start to cross we're just going to sew up to that point so once you have that little gap sewn up now we're just going to and you can kind of fluff your hat and put it on too to see exactly how much you'll need to sew but now we're going to be sewing this gap right here so right where the cross swoops under we're just going to be tacking these two together and the same on the other side so you can even put this on to see but you're gonna have like this cross right here in the front so you just have to close up these corners right here just attach them together then once you sew all your seams then that's your hat it might take some altering you know sew a little bit don't finish off don't finish off your threads yet. Put it on, test it, make sure everything's laying right before you finish your threads. But then that's your finished hat. I hope you like this jasmine inspired turban hat. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.